campsite. Thanks for coming back. We wanted to introduce our tow vehicle. This is Mighty Mushroom. My Start all over. We'll just keep going. To the campsite. This is our tow vehicle, Mighty Marshmallow, or M squared, because Nick doesn't like the Mighty Marshmallow, but we do. And then we have our trailer. We have a Bighorn Traveler DB37. We're gonna take you around. Just a quick overview of the outside. We'll come back later in the video and get more detailed, but we want to go inside first. This is kind of the outside, the graphics, and then we'll go inside and show you our house. Come on in. All right, so you walk into the kitchen. As you can see, it's fairly large for a campground kitchen. These cabinets, we got our uh, control panel, some storage. So you have to maximize in a campground. We got a fairly large pantry, which was a selling feature for me. We can fit a full grocery shop that I used to do in our sticks and bricks in here, no problem. Then we also have these really deep, I mean like deep, deep um, shelves all the way in here for more and more storage. You can see there's unused space. We have a full size residential fridge and freezer, again, Amazing because I can fit in a full grocery shop here. Our teeny, teeny, tiny <laughs> camp oven. Teeny, teeny, tiny. Yeah, had to buy <laughs> new pans for it and everything. And then we have our microwave with the fan and everything. Storage above, storage below. And then we have our island here, which I like the island. Um, we have these countertops that fit over top of the sink. They can expand your countertop while you're prepping food and then you can remove them. We usually keep one of them underneath the sink storage so that it's open. And the sink has a sprayer, which is awesome. There is storage under the island here, and it's big enough to fit your trash can. and keep our blender, some cleaning supplies, storage bags, things like that under there. And then behind Nick, if he can turn around, we have three drawers. So we just use one for silverware, then utensils, and then every good house has to have a junk drawer. So ours looks pretty organized right now because we're just starting out. <laughs> <laughs> then we have our little dinette kitchen. So you got a bench seat here and the table with two chairs. The other chair is in our bedroom for Nick to use for work. And then we have our amazing, this was a huge selling feature for us because it had this huge sofa, each part reclines and our family of five can all fit on here to have our family movie nights together and above you've got more and more storage all up in here which is awesome and we took down the valances that were in here they were just kind of dark and bulky and made me feel closed in and we hung up curtains everywhere and then if you spin around we have the big tv up here we'll come back here we have the bunkhouse. This is the kids room. This was what we were looking for in a trailer. We wanted a quad bunkhouse that had two slide outs so that they had so much room in here. Okay, so I mean, I could lay out on the floor in here. They have a lot of space on the floor that they can play, that they can move, that they're not on top of each other because we have three growing kids and we wanted them to feel like they had space. So this was a sofa that pulled out into a bed, the camper style one. We replaced that with just a cheap futon because it was actually more comfortable, more space efficient, and it weighed a lot less than the camp one that came in here. And then we were able to put Legos under here because, you know, Legos are an essential for a family with kids. And then Nick fabricated these um, bed rails for the boys. So this one is a little bit higher for our youngest. And we put um, curtains up here so that they have total privacy at night. They don't have to worry about a sibling turning the light on and waking them up. Once they get in bed, they can close their curtain and they are in their own little world. And then our oldest has, his bunk rail is not as high because he doesn't roll around and move as much. And Nick fabricated all of those. It was a great addition. He has his curtain also. 
And then our daughter has her, the loft up here, which was a great selling feature because it gave more space down here because nobody needed to sleep where the bed is. So her ladder, which is kind of cool, it's in the door. So you can open the door. We'll show you what's behind the door in a minute. But her ladder comes out Whoops. when you have the door shut. And then you can climb up into the loft. Now up in the loft, we did put some shelves to the right that we had at home. We installed some shelves up there. So pretty much all of her things are up in her loft because the loft has a bigger space area than the bunks here. So she pretty much has all of her stuff up there. And then if Nick wants to step in by the couch, he can show you the storage that's in here. So the kids also have a TV that comes out and then there is deep storage all the way reaches all the way back under the bunk they have deep storage in here that we let them choose how they used it on both sides and then there's a little bit of storage here that goes all the way back and they have storage on either side this one's a little harder with the ladder here but the kids actually have plenty of storage we were not hurting for storage which we were very surprised about so then if you want to come along through the door the kids have a full bath back here so it is a teeny tiny corner sink and then they have the cutest little bathtub it is a mini bathtub we've not used it for baths but they've used it for showers <laughs> and then behind you as Nick tries to get in the mini bathtub which is quite funny once you realize how big he is he barely fits. And then the kids have a ton of storage back here in their bathroom. So we kind of use the top as like overflow family storage. And then the bottom is their stuff, but it goes all the way back. So they're still more and more storage and it's all three compartments. And then we have a door to the outside here, which we have locked right now, but There's a door to the outside with some steps. They can come straight in here and drop muddy stuff in the tub. So that's wonderful. All right, moving to the other end of the trailer. Another great feature, we didn't really want a mid bunk because we wanted the kids to have their own end of the trailer. So coming up the stairs, you have a bathroom here on this side. This has the bigger shower with the little seat in the shower, which is awesome. That storage behind the shower, oh my goodness, you can fit so much in there. It, I was super surprised and there's lots of space left there. And there's more storage under the bathroom sink here that we haven't even used. And then of course you have storage behind the mirror. And you have a fan in there, which is also good. This is the one that you gotta work around is closing the door. And then come on into our room, the master bedroom. So this is Nick's office and our bedroom. Nick is waving behind the camera because you can see him in the mirror. <laughs> so he has his whole office set up here. <laughs> if you can see on our dresser, he has his monitors and his laptop all set up and sometimes he'll even use the TV monitor as another monitor. And then we have all of these drawers down here. We have six drawers in our dresser. They're tiny, but we maximize the space. So it's all good. Then behind the mirrored doors that Nick was waving into, we have our laundry room and closet. So we upgraded and got the Splendid washer and there's another video of us installing this, so check that out if you're looking to install one. And then we have clothes up here, all the laundry supplies, and the brooms and things on the side. Then moving over, we have more closet space. Nick has this side, so there's not much there, but just wait. Then you come to my side. And we put another one of these cube storages in here just to give more storage space for clothes and things. There is a ton of space up here in this lip. So I use that, maximize, stuck our jackets back in the corner. And then we have our bed. And I love these little nightstands that are here. 
and the camper came with the USB ports right here on the edge and the night lights above for reading, which are actually really, really bright. So that's the tour of the inside. Now Nick's gonna take you outside. Let's go outside, that way. This model came with an outdoor kitchen, which this used to be an outdoor kitchen. It came with a, a slide out tray that had a sink and a one burner gas burner. Um, I decided that was useless for our family, so I took that out and turned this into the kids' outdoor play uh, storage compartment with um, nearly everything outdoors is in here for their, their uh, skateboards, their balls, their helmets, their kites, um, the pool stuff, everything goes in. The rear depart compartment, there's another, this is where I turn into my cook shop. Um, I got uh, stuff in here for grill stuff. There's also room in here for the Dutch oven charcoal. I store my Starlink in here when we're traveling. There's a nice belt buckle on the hill to secure my Starlink when we're traveling. Up top, this shelf is a little bit useless because it's hard to get stuff into. I don't know if you can see how small the opening is, but how high it is to get in here. Um, so we just store skinny dry goods in here, stuff that's easy to get in and out of that we don't necessarily need all the time. And what was in where the charcoal is when we first got the trailer? Oh, there was a... What was in here? A mini, a, a mini refrigerator was in here. So your factory 37 DB is going to come with a refrigerator in there. All right, up to the front main compartment is our uh, underneath storage here. I modified it slightly. The wall here was angled all the way over to our door on the other side. What I did is I actually moved it back on the inside and took the other piece and created probably about another two and a half foot of storage area, which greatly increased our storage in here. Obviously it's full of stuff. You have electrical sockets on the outside, electrical sockets on the inside. Uh, I made the shoe bin, just had a cheap pine um, as a place to keep our shoes out of the weather. Also to let them dry because I didn't want them in a sealed container. Um, Cause if they're wet, it's just gonna not dry in there and create nasty problems. So I made this, it was cheap. It was like 12 bucks for the pine, some screws, some measurement fits in there good and snug. Everybody has their own little bin. So I thought it was pretty cool. As they're checking out this model, this is just a 30 pound um, propane tank storage on this side. And this storage is passed through. So we're gonna continue around. And, around. All right, and here's our electronics. We have our hydraulics for our leveling gear. We have our inverter. Our battery, all that's in here. That's what's in this bay. This is the front side of our pass-through storage. So there's actually three doors to your pass-through storage. You have one on the front, one on the left side of the trailer, and one on the right side of the trailer. They all access one big area. Underneath here is another deep um, storage container area. We have a huge plastic bin in here. That thing's probably three foot deep by probably two and a half foot tall. Um, so you can put um, generate in here, all kinds of storage in this area. Here's our other 30 pound um, propane tank. This is the left side of our pass through and our water bay. Um, for all those Heartland guys in here, I'll make a quick note because there is a video coming about this. If you have your, I don't know if you can see in the camera because there might be a shadow. If you have your touchscreen um, leveling system controller in here, right next to your water bay, if you get a leak, it ruins your touchscreen. So I would suggest you either move it or protect the backside of that from the water because notice mine is right next to my water bay. We had a leak and it ruined my screen. That cost us a little over 500 bucks. Thanks, Heartland. Good job, guys. Um, over here, we have our hot water heater. We lost the door on our main voyage back home when we first bought the trailer. Um, rookie mistakes, whatever, here it is. Um, our furnace, that's just one more little storage area on the left side of the trailer. It's underneath the bench in the kitchen table. I don't know if you guys remember on the inside when we showed you that, this is the bottom side of that bench and that storage area for there. And so this model does have five slides. So this side has a slide for the master bedroom with the east-west bed, the slide for the fridge and the stove, oven, microwave, and then the slide 
in the bunkhouse. So that's it for our trail. This is our home on wheels. Hope you guys like it and uh, see you next time.